Welcome, everyone. I'm Jeff Rumberg, Managing Partner of MetricNet. Today, I'll be going through a live demo of MetricNet's downloadable, fully customized service desk benchmark. This is a benchmarking tool that MetricNet developed as a result of many client requests over the years. It gives you the ability to see how your service desk compares to others in the industry. Perhaps more importantly, it diagnoses your service desk strengths and weaknesses and provides specific recommendations on how to close performance gaps and continuously improve your service desk. Let's get started. The benchmarking tool is built in Excel. Let me share that with you on my screen. The tool opens up to the instructions tab, which gives you the step-by-step -step instructions for how to create and update your benchmark. It explains the purpose of the benchmark, how to use it, and how to enter your own service desk data. On the right-hand side of the instructions, you will see screenshots and tips and tricks for how to get the most out of your benchmark. Now, if we move one tab to the right in the spreadsheet, you will see the data entry page. This worksheet has been pre-populated with data, so it might look a bit intimidating when you first open it up, but I can assure you that entering your data on this page is quite straightforward. I do want to point out, however, that the data shown in this demo is all randomly generated. We do this because we don't want you to inadvertently compare your data to the sample we're showing. The data we ask for includes customer satisfaction, cost, first contact resolution rate, analyst utilization, which drives your cost, job satisfaction, and average speed of answer, which is of course for the voice channel. These are not random metrics, rather they are the KPIs, the key performance indicators for a level one service desk. Now, if you don't have all of this data, that's not a problem. You can either leave certain data fields blank or enter the industry average, which we show over here on the left-hand side. For any metrics you don't have when you initially populate your benchmark, you can always add that data later when you do start tracking that KPI. It's also worth noting that we don't ask you to make any complicated calculations to enter your data. For example, the tool will automatically calculate your cost metrics if you simply enter your headcount, your starting analyst compensation, the monthly contact or ticket volume, and the average handle time. Using that basic input, the spreadsheet automatically calculates your average cost per minute of handle time, which is how we compare cost in a service desk benchmark. You will notice in the upper rows that you have the option of inputting your data for any period of time. You can update your benchmark annually, quarterly, monthly, or even weekly. Most of our clients update their benchmark on a monthly basis. This way you can track and trend your progress over time. As you enter your data, you get instant feedback on your performance and how it compares to a valid group of other service desks. For example, you can see that this service desk in Q4 2022 was in the first quartile for customer satisfaction, second quartile for cost, fourth quartile for first contact resolution rate, first quartile for utilization, fourth quartile for job satisfaction, and second quartile for average speed of answers. As you enter your data, you can see immediately which quartile your performance is in by the color of the cell, as well as the label above the cell that tells you which quartile you're in. Top quartile will always be dark, darker green. Second quartile is a lighter shade of green, Third quartile will be yellow, and fourth quartile will be shaded red. In this example, the service desk started their benchmark by providing data for Q4 2022. Subsequently, they provided monthly data for the next 11 months. All you need to do is enter six KPI values anytime you wanna update your benchmark. It's that simple. Now, moving to the next tab, the benchmarking comparison, you will see 
each of the KPIs for your benchmark in the left column of the summary table. You don't have to enter this data. It's automatically entered from the prior tab of the spreadsheet. The data shown is for the month of November. So we have 58.8% customer satisfaction. It's 58.8%. We have $2.06 cost per minute of handle time. Now, next to your own data is a column showing the average value for each metric in the benchmark. Once again, this is randomly generated data. Moving still further to the right, we're showing four quartiles. The high value and the low value in each quartile defines that quartile. And the dark blue cell represents the quartile that your performance falls into. This allows you to see at a glance where your performance is strong and where it can be improved. For our sample data, the service desk scored in the second quartile for customer satisfaction. It was in the third quartile for cost, first quartile for first contact resolution rate, second quartile for analyst utilization, and first quartile for both job satisfaction and average speed of answer. Now, if we scroll down a bit, we see that a balanced score has automatically been populated. The balanced score gives you a single overall measure of your service desk performance that ranges from zero to 100%. The higher your score, the better your performance. This particular service desk had a balanced score of 67.5% for the month of November, which is above average. Scrolling down still further, you will find graphical representations of your performance, including your balance score, as well as a time series of each metric included in the balance score. Here's the 11 month trend in the balance score. Likewise, here is the 11 month trend in customer satisfaction the trend in cost, the trend in first contact resolution rate, the trend in analyst utilization, the trend in job satisfaction, and finally the trend in average speed of answer. On each of these trend charts, you will see the benchmarking average, which is the heavy blue dashed line, as well as the top quartile, which is the green dashed line. This shows you at a glance whether your service desk is above or below the average for a particular metric, as well as whether you are in the top quartile for that metric. Finally, if we move to the far right of the benchmark, you will see a summary of your performance over time with recommended performance targets and detailed improvement recommendations. You can see your summary scores here and your performance targets down here, which we always establish to get you into the top quartile of performance for your peer group. Now, once again, there's no need to make any manual data entry on this tab. All of the data has been carried over from the prior two tabs of the spreadsheet. Each metric comes with a diagnosis as well as recommendations on how to improve that metric, how to improve customer satisfaction and cost and first contact resolution rate and analyst utilization, job satisfaction, and speed of answer. So that's a real quick run through of MetricNet's downloadable customized service desk benchmark. You can update it as often as you like to get a detailed view of your performance trend over time. To download your benchmark, you can go to this URL, metricnet.com forward slash instant benchmark. Thanks for joining me today to learn about MetricNet's downloadable Customized Service Desk Benchmark. I'm Jeff Rumberg, Managing Partner of MetricNet.